Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. Let's start with today's Bitcoin TA because Bitcoin currently had another little pump here towards our new resistance of around $9,500. We came out of this potential descending triangle and so far we are breaking out to the upside and possibly we're gonna test here again this $9,500 pretty soon. So let's take out here this descending triangle because it looks like that Bitcoin is again consolidating in this potential falling wedge which could potentially break out also to the upside. Currently we have a support range here of around $9,200 so only in case that we're gonna lose here this support here at around $9,220 currently we could fall towards the bottom of this line here which is currently at around $8,700. $50 but if we can keep up here the support and break out here from $9,500 we could be in here for another retest of $10,000 so in the one hour currently we're trading again above all the moving averages which is a good sign also the RSI and stochastic are coming up here in overbought condition here in the Bollinger Band you can see that we are also here topping out and potentially we have a little retracement back down towards $9,400 even down to $9,000 1360 but from there on we should bounce and not fall lower than $9,200. MACD is also shifted to the upside so here in the one hour it looks like that we want to retest here this potential resistance of 9,500. But in case that we have a retracement, watch out here for 9,240. We shouldn't fall lower than that line. So now in theory, we are squeezing out here in this little tiny wedge before we're gonna see a breakout here to the upside or to the downside. So a move is coming definitely. The question is only when. And if we go over to the four hour time frame, also here you can see that currently all the moving averages are lining up together. And usually when we see formations like this, also in the lower time frames, always we are expecting a big move. So let's wait and see where we're gonna have this breakout here to the upside or to the downside. So in case that we can break here the resistance, watch out for the next step here at around 9,600. And if also this one is getting broken, then I feel think we will be definitely heading towards this $10,200 to retest the main resistance which is very likely also to be broken also depending what the stock market is gonna do this week because currently also here in the S&P 500 we are seeing a nice pump potentially towards 3140 to retest here the resistance that is very likely and in that case also Bitcoin most likely is going to break out here to the upside and retest $10,200. The RSI here is also now starting to trade above the 50 level. Stochastic is coming in overbought condition but here also we can stay for quite some time till we are getting topped out here. So here the RSI has a lot of room left to the upside and that's why I think a breakout to the upside is possible if we can really break this $9,500 to $9,600. And if we have a look on the Bollinger Band, also here you can see that currently we are topping out here. So it is possible that we're seeing first a retracement back down towards $9,360 before we have another bounce back up and potentially overshoot the Bollinger Band in the one hour and four hour to the upside. MACD is also shifted to the upside. So now in theory, we should see a big move and a breakout to the upside, otherwise a little retracement back down to test here the support area is very likely and if we go over to the daily time frame here you can see that currently the 20 and 50 daily moving average are perfectly lining up together and we're testing the two moving averages at the same time so this level here this 9450 is now very very strong but if Bitcoin is really strong enough to break it and also close a daily candle above here the 20 and 50 daily moving average that might be the beginning of this retest here of 10,200 and also potential breakout here to the upside. Let's see if we are able to break here to the upside and also have a retest and potentially a breakout here from the big main resistance here of $10,200. The RSI is right at the 50 stochastic oversold. So here in theory, we would have the perfect condition now to break out here to the upside and still have a lot of room left to the upside. 
here in the Bollinger Band, although we are trading right here in the middle area. So if we can really break here this $9,600 area, the way is free to go and retest here this $10,000 area up here at the top of the Bollinger Band. What we still need here is a bullish cross in the MACD. So far we're still shifted to the downside, so in theory we could easily also drop down again. But here, if we're gonna have a bullish cross in the MACD in the daily, this could signal a big move to the upside and a potential retest of $10,000. And the last chart that we have to check out here is the weekly because currently we are still trading above the 50 and 20 weekly moving average, which is still very bullish. So in the weekly time frame, we never had really a bearish sign here because so far we always stayed above these important moving averages. And although the RSI went never below the 50, we still are above the 50 level and stochastic is overbought here of course this we have already since many weeks and we still can stay in this condition here for a long time the important thing is here that we just gonna stay above the 50 in the rsi and not drop below and if we have a look on the bollinger band in the weekly here also you can see that we are perfectly bouncing here from the first middle line if we have a big bounce here to the upside the target could be even up here at eleven thousand two hundred dollar macd is also shifted to the upside just if we're gonna lose here this 9,220 here, the target would be in theory to the next midline here of $8,290 where also the 200 daily moving average is lining up. So I think that could happen, but currently it is still looking like we're gearing up for a big move to the upside, even though I'm still prepared for a potential dump toward this region here of around $8,000. And we can also have a last look here on the CME chart here because we currently didn't create any future gaps so we don't have any new one and also if we zoom out here through all the time frames it is still looking like that we are gearing up for a big move here to the upside or to the downside so something is coming up pretty soon. I'm still more into the bullish bias but a possible dump is possible and that's why you should be prepared also for that scenario. And if you want to trade that with a long or with a short, so in any direction we are going, you can take profits. And this is what you can do here over on Bybit. Because here on Bybit, you can go short, you can go long with leverage up to 100x. So if you are interested in trading, then go down below here to my video description. You find all the sign up links that you need. The one for Bybit gives you $90 sign up bonus. So definitely go and check out and sign up with my link. And also if you want to open up multiple trades, you can do that also over on Femex, BDART and Primex PT. On Femex, for example, you can also trade other assets like gold. And with my link, you can also get $72 for free here over on Femex. So you find all the links to get these free rewards down below here in the video description. And also don't forget to join our free Discord trading chat. The chat is completely for free and everyone is welcome. The link to the chat you find also down below here. And I'm doing the live streams over on Twitch. So if you're interested in watching the live streams, it's over on Twitch also join me over there and with that said guys we're gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content please hit the like button subscribe to the channel because we do daily ta videos and also you can participate to the bitcoin giveaway that i do with every 500 subscribers so thank you very much for watching guys and we see us all in the next one bye